Hello, I'm Max Massey, and we are here with another episode of Lexi Loves Food. So, got the name right. Got the We're name off to right. a great start. We're off and running. What do we got here? Okay, so first of all, I just want to go ahead and say we're really going places with the show mm. because this is our first time taking it on the road. We're literally going places. We are literally going <laughs> places. This is first Lexi Loves Food road trip, and mm. so for this special episode that Max Massey is here to host, we kind of went all out. Yeah. So what, what do we have here? Okay, so we have the uh, hot beef sundae. Okay. Very excited. Um, a lot of cheese, a lot of gravy. Mm -hmm. um, toasted Texas bun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Toast, Texas, toasted Texas toast. Sure, Say sure. Say that 10 times fast. We have fried peaches with uh, some cinnamon and then some glazed icing. Yes. Sure. Yes. And then uh, we have fried green tomatoes. You had, you said something earlier? Yeah, they're not from the Whistle Stop Cafe. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, I don't really We're want to be your friends. We're moving on. Yeah. And then next up. Oh, wait. So the last, this is kind of the main, this is the main course. These are Rocky Mountain oysters. Um, if you're not familiar, Rocky Mountain oysters are not seafood. These are not the little slimy things that come out of the sea. These are actually bull testicles. I'm sorry, what? They are bull testicles. Mm, do you want to um, say it one more time? Hard pass. <laughs> um, so anyways, we are here to try all of these things. This one is kind of the craziest mm -hmm. of the things we're trying today. It's the, the primary dish. It is the primary dish. Um, and before we dive in, there are a few fun facts about the, the Rocky Mountain testicles. oysters. So, the bull <laughs> testicles, yes. So, I'm going to go ahead and cite the This realist. is a common food that people actually eat. Yes, it is. This is not something we made up. This is not something the rodeo made up. This is actually a dish that was created by ranchers in the Rocky Mountain region, according to Thrillist, which I, I think they're pretty... Accurate. I, Ish. I believe that. Um, so they advertise UNICEF, so they gotta be good. Yeah, absolutely. So, fun fact about bull testicles is they're actually deep frying aside, very healthy. They're rich in minerals, and protein, and vitamins. If you frequent the gym, as this Thrillist article says, maybe you want to throw them in the blender and you put them in a smoothie. You know, or maybe um, not. Or maybe not. Um, and actually. The woman who helped us get the Rocky Mountain oysters here told us something really interesting, which mm. actually they're very high demand at the rodeo. So we had to wait like 30 minutes to we order did. them. We did. It was it was a little while to get them. I'm really excited to try them, but apparently they have to up the order of meat every single mm. year. And this year they had to order 1,800 pounds of meat to make this dish. 1,800 pounds of bull testicles. Yes, from Colorado. Just to be so, specific, just, not yeah. just meat. 1,800 pounds of bull testicles. Yes, exactly. So uh, apparently they must be pretty good. You know what? I say we start with these and uh, we just kind of move our way down. Diving right in. Okay. Do you have a fork? I was just going to eat like a chicken tender. Okay, no, you're right. I'm not going to. I won't be prissy about this. I mean, we're here. We're eating testicles. Yeah, that's... Do, do we use the gravy or we just... Um, I want to try it... Without? Yeah, let's try okay. it without first. I mean, it tastes like a chicken tender, but a little chewier. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, um... <laughs> that's an accurate description. You want to see? Pull us up what it looks like. Um, it kind of reminds me of almost like chicken fried steak. Yeah. Right? Yeah, a little bit like that. But it's a little bit, um... Chewier. The texture is very chewy. Yeah. It's very chewy. It's kind of, um, are you, gonna, are you gonna finish? Are there rules to Lexi Loves Food? There are no rules. You just have to eat and have fun. That's okay. It. You don't really have to have fun. I don't really care about that part. Just I'm having food. fun. Good, good. Um, yeah, no, these are... What, what do you think? This is... I mean, I'm gonna finish this piece at least. Yeah. They're kind of like little sausage balls. Almost. Like, it's, it's a very interesting texture. <laughs> I mean, it's really, like, hidden by the deep friedness. Mm -hmm. But let's see the meat there. Mm. It's not bad. No, I've definitely eaten worse. Me too. Me too. Like if you wouldn't have told me mm -hmm. these were bull testicles, and you just said try the what are they called? Rocky Mountain oysters. If you try these Rocky Mountain oysters, I'd be like, oh, these are pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you can tell they're not real oysters, but it does. I mean, it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Like chicken fried steak, just like a rubbery yeah. chicken fried steak. This is um, but in like yeah. tender form. Yeah. And yeah. they're high in protein, so I really don't feel that bad about it. Yeah, exactly. That's a lie. High I feel terrible protein. about it. All right, moving on down the line. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the uh, fried green tomatoes and ranch dipping sauce. The guy actually where we got these, mm -hmm. award-winning 
for his fried green tomatoes. I love fried green tomatoes, but I have not had them. In ranch? Like in forever. Oh, I've never had them with ranch. Full honesty though, when you guys went to get the, uh, good? No. Mm. When we went to get the uh, mm. When you went to get the board obstacles, I had like the small one here because I was like really hungry. I don't, yeah, it was, I don't blame you. These are really, really good. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, no, I love fried green tomatoes. Mm. Okay. Peaches. Mm. This is a lot of fried food. This is so much fried Do food, we but have I'm. Tums on deck? Like. I'm gonna finish this first. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. Chew, Matthew, chew. Don't choke. Please don't choke. We've never had a... Um, First casualty on Lexi country. Loves Food. I know. Mmm. So good. So you got fried peaches. Yeah. And this is a uh, cinnamon icing glaze. Okay. Oh. I mean, duh, that's good, you know? Mmm. It's like... It's like peach cobbler. Yeah. This also has a peach cobbler. In a hand. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is the other one that I think is... Uh, mm. It's unique. A little crazy. Yes. Yeah. All right, um, you go first. This is Arkansas. People can make that. A beef sundae. Go for it. Um, I mean, I gotta get some beef. In you here. need, yeah, need the beef. I need the beef. A lot of beef today. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Where's the beef from? Right. Okay, so this is several layers of beef, and then mashed potato, and then gravy, and then cheese, and then more gravy, more mashed potato, more cheese. <laughs> What is the cherry on top? Tomato cherry. It is tomato. pretty delicious, to be yeah. honest. That's really good. It's like a KFC bowl, but better. Yeah. No, that's that's really good. That's um. There's a lot going on there. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna need some antacids a little bit later. Mm. Um, but that was really good. So okay. If you're gonna rank Ooh. the food items you mm -hmm. tried, rank them. Oh, okay. Like on pure taste. On pure taste, yes. That's tough. Okay, well. I'm gonna go, okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go the, the beef sundae one. Okay. Is it the best? That's the best. Okay. If I come back, when I come back, okay. and I think like outside the box, I'm going that. Okay. Two, three, four. Wow. I know. So did you enjoy it? It was good. Rocky Mountain Oysters? It was good. It was good, it just yeah. wasn't the best of the beef. Well listen, this is more like, Full, this is hearty. I mean, I'm like full after one bite. Hearty, yeah. Yeah, this is very hearty. Um, these are great snacks and they're delicious. Yeah. And like they're super sweet, so you can walk around, Dunkaroos, yeah. salad snack. Never had fried green, green fried tomatoes? Fried green tomatoes? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and they're delicious. Yeah. Chewy, fine. I mean, putting the whole ball testicle thing aside. Eh. Okay. Um, are you going to ask me my favorites now? Obviously. That would have been rude if you didn't. Um, okay, so for me, my favorite is the fried green tomatoes. Uh huh. I'm gonna. The bull testicles are my second favorite. Ooh, okay. So are you gonna come back here and order the bull testicles? Okay, first of all, I wasn't done ranking. Um, probably, honestly, probably not. Mm. They're they're good, but I I uh, I don't think that this is an everyday thing, and not just because it's all fried and I would die in a heartbeat if I eat this every day, but. Um, but yeah, I mean they're they're not bad. They have a texture that is unique. It is a rubbery texture, but it, it wasn't bad. And yeah, I think they're my second favorite thing. Third, fourth. Why did this drop to third? Um, I'm not a huge fan of sweets. Oh okay. And this is just a little bit too much. But um, yeah. A any final thoughts, Max Massey? I really, I really like this. Okay, so that's it. You're encouraging people to come out and try the beef sundae. Mm -hmm. Are you encouraging people to come out here and try the bull testicles? I am. I think that this is, you know, it's a one-of-a-kind dish. It's something wacky and weird, but we learned some new things today. We did. About them. We learned so, that they're bringing in 1,800 pounds of them. That's, that's a lot. So clearly, they're in high demand. Try them if you get the chance to go to the rodeo. Max, thank you for joining me on an episode of Lexi Loves Food. Thank you for having me on your episode of Lexi Loves Food. I appreciate it. And thank you for actually trying it. Oh, obviously. Now, if you have any suggestions for any weird or wacky foods for me to try, I will clearly be happy to. So just comment or DM us, and uh, that's it.